Matchmaker.fm connects podcasters and guests. Welcome to Matched, the show where we talk to some of the most incredible guests available for an interview right now. I'm your host, James Mulvaney, founder of Matchmaker.fm, and this is Matched. All right, I'm Jeffrey D. Calhoun, host of the Successful Screenwriter Podcast, and you can find me on Matchmaker.fm. How's it going, Jeffrey? That's doing well. Thank you. I really appreciate you having me on. No problem. So we normally start off with a couple of icebreaker questions. I thought um, because you're a screenwriter, uh, I'd start with some kind of like related questions. So firstly, if a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be and who would play you? Uh, who would play me? Oh, gosh. Let, let, yeah. uh, let's let's see. I have no idea who would play me. Somebody tall, lanky and geeky who loves Star Wars. Let's go with that. And, and and then and my life <laughs> okay. would be uh, I mean like anybody's life, full of struggles, trying to to find his own voice, find his own self, and then eventually coming into it. So it would be a coming of age, I think. And if uh, you could pick one cartoon character that would become real, which cartoon character one would it be? One cartoon character who would become real. I was a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Let's go with it. <laughs> That's a good one, Ninja Turtles. They'd be a crew, they'd be a cool group right? of guys yeah. to hang out with, wouldn't they? Definitely. Yeah, I used to like that as well. Cool. Okay. Um. So I guess just start off then by introducing yourself and and sort of tell us a bit about what you do and and your podcast. Right. Yeah. So I'm Jeffrey D. Calhoun. I am uh, a best selling author of a book called The Guide for Every Screenwriter. Um, and so then I have launched the Successful Screenwriter podcast to uh, really help screenwriters kind of discover paths of uh, to find their own successes in their own careers, because it's such a difficult uh, career to to work in. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious to actually know, how do you get involved in that industry in, this, in the first place? Is it something that you kind of consciously decided one day, I want to be a screenwriter or do you just sort of... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely not. No, actually, I, it was by a bet. I was I was it was a bet. I was working with someone who was an editor in a morning show for kids and he wanted to get into screenwriting. Um, so he bet me uh, yeah. to write a screenplay. So I just randomly took on the challenge and um, and wrote the screenplay and I ended up falling in love with it. And that was probably over 15 years ago. Great. And so your podcast is really designed to kind of help people who are looking to kind of break into the industry. Yeah, is that right? uh, and, and we go a little bit further than that. I mean, I, I, uh, I interview celebrities. I interview writers that are working on shows that you're watching right now on TV. And I even interview like what we call screenwriting mm -hmm. gurus or instructors, masters of the craft. And we kind of really dive deep into the essence of screenwriting as well. So there's a lot you can get out of my show excellent and and how long have you been re recording it for like how many episodes we are, are you in hitting there? episode 29 so we go weekly episode so it's relatively new uh podcast but it has taken off yeah and i, I think one of the good things about your podcast is and, and some some advice we quite often give people is to be super niche. I think, you know, you've kind of obviously got a real specific target audience. So it's kind of quite easy to create content that, you know, will resonate yeah. with, with that audience. Well, yeah, that because right? I am that audience. So, like, I know what yeah. I want to hear from a podcast and I know who I'd want to hear interviewed. So I hunt those people down to be guests Um um, and then geek out and kind of have fun, you know, sitting here on the side of the of the camera asking them questions, knowing that yeah, somebody in the audience would want to be doing that too. And I guess uh, it must be has, has it been a good um, opportunity for you in terms of like meeting people and interviewing people who you perhaps wouldn't yeah, have spoken to before. Yeah, it's a total before? blessing. I mean, I had one of my um, guests was like I read his book several times and it, and I kind of like idolized him when I was first starting out in the in the field and so then getting him yeah. as a guest was like I had to keep it I had to keep the geek level down you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. try to keep you cool um cool that sounds good um and i'm curious to know what kind of led you to sign up to oh, matchmaker well you know you're always hunting for guests and you're always trying to create opportunities for your podcast no matter where you go and there's several websites mm. similar to matchmaker but what i find what i like about matchmaker and prefer it because i keep going back to it is um i like the quality of guests that you have i like the i like the quality of podcasts that you have and and they're actively uh, interacting with people so if i go on matchmaker and i and i message somebody i know they're going to message me back um and then we kind of start chatting mm. and trying to see if we can collaborate awesome and what kinds of shows have you been on like can you tell me about some yeah, of the collaborations I was on the you've done white deer 
podcast with these uh, lovely um, uh, British chaps, and uh, and they were they were <laughs> okay. relatively new to filmmaking, and they've got their own film festival, and I got to be on there, and we had a really nice long chat about screenwriting, and it was cool because they were geeking out. So it was funny because it was like the roles were reversed. Usually I have on these screenwriting masters where I'm I'm interviewing them. And then for these guys, they got to really get to pick my brain, which was kind of fun. And I also got um, CJ Wally as a guest who came on my show. And he runs this really cool site called Script Revolution. Um, and his episode uh-huh. is still one of my favorite episodes. Okay. And what did he talk about? We actually really got into it. So with screenwriting, we talked about screenwriting, but we also talked about the stress of screenwriting and how it can weigh on your mental health. And we got very real with it. And I thought Mm. it was a wonderful episode. I think sometimes those conversations are kind of the best, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Getting honest, getting deep, and then, and then really talking about something that, you know, at least in American culture is rather taboo. Um, talking about mental health, mm. but I really felt strongly like let's let's get this out there, let's talk about it because people need to hear it. And he was a wonderful guest for that. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing. I think it, you know anyone working in any kind of creative capacity sometimes knows that feeling, don't they? Because you know it's like you've got to you you've got to always produce a certain amount of creative output. Um, you know, and I kind of identify with that as an entrepreneur. I imagine you know you experience all the time with. A screenwriter but you have good days and bad days you know sometimes you're just like real it can be a real struggle yeah. to kind of come up with ideas and keep things fresh um so you know i think it's always good to have those kinds of conversations and i think like you say make you know those honest conversations sometimes make the best um, yeah. podcasts um okay so let's talk about podcasting i'm curious to know like what led you to that path in in the beginning obviously you know you've, you've been writing uh, lots of scripts for, for tv and, and film but what is it about the podcasting medium that kind of first uh, you want to reach out to, to a you? community and give back and and create value and i mm. and for me it took the longest time to find my voice i had started guesting on podcasts like the break it down show and they started bringing me on and kind of teaching me how to um have that personality uh and then i guested with mm-hmm. alex ferrari on indie film hustle and then he as well kind of took me under his wing and started kind of helping me find my voice. And so then eventually it became this, uh, all right, I need to try and do this. But if I'm going to do this, I want to create something that I can really add value to our community. And so that was that was the goal. Mm. And uh, what advice would you give to someone who's perhaps thinking about launching yeah, their own podcast? Yeah, I think it is that, exactly, it is adding value. If you're going to do something like this, don't do it out of vain, don't do it, to just do it, do it to somehow further the community and help others. And so, and that's my goal. And it's so far Mm. has been, uh, been well received. What, uh, what is you, who would be your ideal podcast guest? So what, what sort of guests are you ideally looking for? I want, I want writers or celebrities, filmmakers. I mean, I've been blessed to have all of them that come on that have really walked Mm -hmm. the walk and they can talk to talk. So I want guests on there who have who have struggled, who have been through, have been through it and had to fight to succeed. Um, one of my guests was mm-hmm. Kelly Schwartz. He's an award winning, he's an Emmy award winning director. And him and I on on the podcast both realized that we were both dyslexic. Um, and so we were ended up having to talk about trying to make it in the industry while being dyslexic. It was absolutely amazing. So I want guests that can kind of show how you can make it and talk from a level of 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 knowledge and experience. And likewise, in what what podcast would you aspire to be on? If you could choose any podcast in the world, what would be like your number one go to podcast? I. I don't know. I mean, I'm actively reaching out to to several podcasts. So any podcast out there that that is looking for a screenwriter, uh, guru, or instructor that can come on and bring a little bit of value, that's that's what I would I would love to be on. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Um, to finish up, if people want to find out more about you, yeah, you how can, can go they do to so? the successfulscreenwriter.com. Our podcast has its own website, so you can go on there, and we have actually have a ton of free content for screenwriters as well. There is an easier way to get booked onto more podcasts as a guest. Join matchmaker.fm for free today and start making connections with podcasters who are looking for guests just like you.